This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we've kind of moved, in my opinion, from probable to totally improbable. Let's go probable one more time here. Open up these two images in your exercise files. Custom, hold the shift key down and select lens correction. Double click and they'll both open. Here we go. Let's start with lens correction right here. If you notice, there is a problem with the image itself based on the lens that I use to shoot it. It's a little bit out up here. You can see it down here. Train tracks aren't nice and straight. The cool feature in this program that allows us to fix this, assuming the lens is known. So it's a good camera. The information was recorded. We come up here to the word filter and go down to lens correction. In lens correction, we have an auto correction feature right here. Geometric distortion, chromatic aberration, vignette. Some lenses have a tendency to darken around the corners and that'll solve that problem too. We have a scaling option. The camera make is a Nikon. Now, if you have your camera model here, you can choose it. And if you know the lens, you can choose it. However, if you're not sure, just make sure it's on the make, Nikon, Canon, etc. Now watch what happens to the image when I turn on the preview. See how it corrected it? It actually brought it back in based on the information saved with the file, saved by the camera, to correct this image. That is a very nice feature. But what if, let's go ahead and click OK on that one. What if you don't know the camera? So let's go to this one, custom JPEG. JPEGs usually don't have that kind of information. And you can see we do have a problem. You can see that bending up here. Let's do this. Let's go back in. Let's go down to, once again, lens correction. In lens correction, let's go into the custom tab. We don't have any information on this image, camera, lens, or anything. So we have to do it manually. We do have some settings here for default. We could use the previous or do custom. We're going to do a custom correction. And let's start. Now make sure preview's on so you can see it. Here's the distortion for geometrics here. And if we click that, watch the image. Now sometimes it's better to have the grid on. So let's say show grid. We get an idea of what exactly is going on with that image. So we've removed some of the barrel distortion from the image. We do have chromatic aberration features here if we think this lens caused that problem. We have a vignette feature. Now let me show you that one. Actually, let me turn the grid off again here so you can see the image real good. See how it darkens or lightens those edges. Some lenses fall off on the edges and this will help. This is the midpoint for the vignette. We do have a transform in vertical and horizontal perspective. So if we pull vertical here a little bit, say this way, it's like you're raising the camera. And you could go the other way too if you want to. You also have angle, if you want to put it at an angle. Notice what it's doing though. It's recropping the image to fit the space. So it's enlarging it or it's making it smaller based on what you want to see here. Let's go ahead and look at scale, which is almost like telephoto. Now, if we turn the preview off, you can see the before and the after. We've corrected the image manually. You like what you see, you click OK. If your camera is a really good camera and it's saved the information on the lens and the camera itself, you might be one click away from fixing the image. But even if you don't have that advantage, you still have a custom setting that can do a whole lot for you too. On to the next.